Fruits, how are you doing? Welcome back to the lakeside. And appearances might be deceiving. Young Joey Tenberger, speedy on his doubles and trebles. And old Martin Phillips, just as speedy on his doubles and trebles. If he'd have chosen another sport, he might have been Fernando Alonso. But he chose darts instead. And boy, oh boy, can this man pack a punch when he wants to. Darts and a dust cart. It's a 50-year-old from Wales against a 25-year-old from The Hague in the Netherlands. Joey Tenberger, the fifth seed, beat Sean Griffiths 3-0 in round one. Martin Phillips had it equally easy against Mark Barilli, a 3-0 victor. And here's the fascinating thing about this match, though. In the first round, 25 attempts at the double, nine checkouts first set, each. First round, Dead it's level. Martin to throw first. Game on! The average is very similar as well. Same score in round one. 41. But Martin Phillips has all the experience. A man who made his lakeside debut back in 1991. This 60. is Ten Berger's third appearance on this stage. And he's just enjoyed his first win. People ask how long 100. Martin Phillips has been playing the game of darts. Made his debut in 91, as you say, Vassos against Phil Taylor. Lost to Taylor in the next year as well. And they get dumped out in 24. the next two years to a certain Bobby George. He's been playing here that long. He made his debut for Wales. 140! Before Joey Tenberger was born. 103 caps and 26 years ago. What I love about Phillips 16. is the understated way he approached this second round match. I had a quick chat with him backstage. I said, you up for this one? He says, ah, oh, yeah, it's just, just missing neighbours, aren't I? 100! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on the telly tonight, so apart from the darts, and he's in that. He's left himself. 55. 120. Martin, you require 120. To win the first leg, a treble and then a double. He'll be back. 55. Is Tenberger still searching for his first ton of the match? 42. I think all the pressure on the Dutch youngster. And Phillips has left double top, which Tenberger didn't actually hit in his first round match. Missed it every time. And Martin 25. Phillips missing on a couple of occasions there, but he's got stacks of time. The sort of first leg he'd have dreamed of as he was backstage practicing. 30. Martin, you require Still has him. up to yeah, six darts for the leg. Needs the just one leg. more. Martin Takes Phillips. the first leg. Nods to the crowd. Thank Second you very much. It's Joey to throw first. Game on. And a little indication of the speed of Martin Phillips' game. Our referee, Rab Butler, was still saying, Martin, you require 40. 
20. As Phillips was picking the dart out of a double top. These two very, very speedy players. 100. That's unlucky. Didn't stick into the sizal. It was only in the treble five. So not uh, too much 60. damage done. So he qualified for Lakeside in 91, 92, 93 and 94 when he lost twice, as you say, to Phil Taylor and twice 100. to a certain Bobby George. Then no visit here for, what, nine years? 2003, defeat to John Boy Walton. And then he's been here for the last five 60. years. Reaching the semi-finals last year and a narrow defeat by Martin Adams. Now, I'm not sure... There's any other player who's had a longer gap between quarter-final appearances of the World Championship than Martin Phillips, 18 years apart between his two quarter-finals. Bristling 91. with confidence and uh, bristling with delight. 60. Joey Require, 170. Another one, and a bullseye. Gary Robson holds his breath, and breathes a huge sigh of relief. It's about three times now someone's come within the width of a wire of denying Robson the highest check out of the week. 140. He is a lucky Jamie boy, Gary 25. Robson. So can Tenberger though take out this 25? Because that's more important. And nine. The answer, Martin a big fat 60. no. It's Phillips with an early opportunity. Lovely first dart. In yeah, goes the second. Good. On the second leg. Martin Phillips. And a break of throw. Third leg is Martin to throw first. Game on. I had a look at Joey Tenberger's website. 16. Just before we came up here, just before this match. And three people have taken the opportunity to say congratulations on his first round win in his 43. guest book. Fortunately, I have no idea what they've been saying. Because it's all in Dutch. But one of them called Ron said, hoi hoi Joey. <laughs> was, it, was it a sailor? Hoi hoi. <laughs> well, we should say hoi hoi. And we might even stick another hoi in if he wins 100. this. And we ought to say a big hoi 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 to our mate Tony Green. Who we all love and we miss. 100. Get yourself down here for next year, Tony. We wish you all the best. One hundred and thirty-one. So no flicker of emotion on Roxanne's face. One hundred and four. She knows that her man is in a tough old battle here tonight. He's warming up now. 97. Martin Uriquois, 158. Lovely start for Phillips. Just had to create the angle for himself and, and took the deflection the wrong way. 122. Joey Uriquois, 130. Puts pressure on the 130. So 18 or bull, but Phillips will be our act with two 18s. For the Martin first set. Require, 36. A moment to have a look. Now at the double nine. Yes, that's game shot. And the first set. Martin Phillips. And in the blink of an eye, Martin Phillips takes the first set 3-0. Second set, first leg. It's Joey to throw first. Game on. Well, given that they're checkout percentages. We're exactly the same before this match. Phillips has settled the better here. Tenberger, though, I just saw signs 16. in the final leg of the first set that he was starting to warm up, and that 180 rather confirms it. And here's another big score coming up. 100. Just for a moment, when that fourth treble 20 went in, everybody 100. here thought... Is it to be? Is it to be? And I bet Martin Phillips thought it as well. He watched John Walton pile in a nine data in the 2007 World Masters. 57. That was against him. That was a really cruel one as well, as he could do nothing about 
Walton's progress. It was the final 60, leg Jerry of the match. And three banana skins. Who's going to slip up on them? 35. Well, that's a slip up from Tenberger there. Phillips sticks in the ton 40 here. Well, can't do it. 16. It just would have Jerry put a little bit of edge onto Tenberger's finish. Oh, which way has he gone? Double 18. Yes, that's brilliant. That's game wow. shot. And the first leg. Joey Tenberger. Wow, well, well done to the cameraman for catching him. And to Tenberger for hitting it. What a finish. His 16. highest of the championship by a distance. 101 was the best he managed in round one. 80. Treble 19, treble 12, double 18. If you're ever stuck as to which way to go on 129. 97. Treble 19, treble 12, double 18. 140. <laughs> He's finding his darts there, the Dutchman. The Daffs and the Taff for the Tons. It's blooming marvellous here tonight. Forty-five. Eighty-two. No finish here for Martin Phillips. But Tim Berger is down to a checkout. 140! Uh, neat little 96 as well. 98. Joey, you require 96. Went for the bull, but the 18 wasn't such a bad one to hit. Double 18. Yes, that's good. For a 14 down leg, leg, for a break of Joey throw. Timberger. Third leg, it's Joey to throw first, game on! This might sound like a really stupid thing to say, but this could be the quickest, longest match we've ever seen at the lakeside. <laughs> 68. Because it could go seven sets, this would be over in half an hour. And they were so closely matched in the first round, 100. both winning 3-0, both with exactly the same doubles percentage with an average that was half a point difference in Tenberger's favour. 100! They reproduced that, you know. We're in for another Walton Adams, aren't we? And they they would both say, with due respect to each other, they fancy their chances of a place in the quarterfinals. They will think that the draw has been relatively kind to them, having reached the second round. Oh, quite. Phillips is a man who 100. does it on the big occasion, you know, twice a semi-finalist in the last Masters and World Championship. And Tenberger does it on the floor in the competitions 100. around Europe and that's why he's the number five seed and why Phillips is here by invitation and it was only a couple of months ago Martin Phillips was beating the other world champion 63 and we should say a first congratulations of the night to Adrian Lewis what a performance that was for him last night commiserations 100 to Gary Anderson but, uh, Jerry Lewis hit the jackpot. It's not bad, is it? Winning your first world championship with a nine data. But how about this? 96. Martin, you require 62. So treble 10. Single 10 leaves 12 for double top. Hit it twice. But 22. Not thrice. Now, Jerry, you require 74. Phillips misses. Tenberger steps up for double top of his own. And he still hasn't hit it in the Martin World Championship this year. 14. Double 15 he needs now. And yes, he gets. That's game shot. And the third leg. Martin it's a big Phillips. hole in the Dutchman's CV, that. That Fourth failure leg to hit double Martin top. To throw first. Game on. Well, it's going to cost him. Unless he can rectify it. And Phillips. Breaking the throw there to stay in this set. <laughs> Scoring is gathering momentum. 100. Can he do it again? 
just the wrong side of the wire. And again, that's better. 66. Six trebles to start the leg. <laughs> yes, sadly for Tenberger, not the ones he would have wanted. 100. Never get interested in a nine darter until the six treble twenties have gone in, though. Time after time, you see the back to back 180s, and then just starts to register 95. with the player exactly what could Martin happen next. Well, they tense up. You tell yourself not to get excited. Joey, you require 160. But I'll bet you 50%, more than 50% of the people watching here and at home, every time they see it, turn 80 to start to leg. They think, could it be, could it be, could it be? He's done well, Tenberger, though, to push Phillips really hard in this leg. There was a look of resignation on the Dutchman's face as he threw that last dart. Double 10 for the Dutchman for the set. Yes, that's game shot. And the second set, Joey Tenberger. And he was right to be resigned, Martin Phillips. Third set, first leg. It's Martin to throw first. Gets up at 4.45 on the dot. Every day he goes to work, six days on, six days off. Fastest dustman in North Wales. 100. Which I suppose means that if this match does go a long way, he'd be past his bedtime. That's awesome. Fifty-nine. <laughs> hey, did you now? Well, it was a long time ago, so you've been let off for good behaviour, I'm sure. 60. That is definitely before Ten Burgers' time. That's a sign. <laughs> to be honest, it's almost before Martin Phillips. Well, a couple of Burger fans. Ninety-five. Sixteen. One hundred and forty. Needed that, Martin Phillips. 142. But a one four two checkout really would be ten out of ten. Well, he was going for treble twenty, treble twenty, double 19. eleven. Martin Just missed the second 86. treble 20. So can Phillips take out 86? 18 for the bullseye. 61. Joey, you require 52. So to break the throw now, Tenberger should go 20 double 16 because he's not hitting double top, as I mentioned. Rather thrushed at that. 36. Wasn't Martin comfortable with his balance and his release. Not the way he would have wanted either. Double eight now. Right to the right hand side. 17. His target. Joey requires 16. Not at the right angle for him. Double eight. Yes, for a leg against the throw the again leg. for Ten Berger. Joey Ten Berger. Second leg is Joey to throw first. Game on. He's a painter and decorator when he's not playing darts. Ten Berger. 60. Also an ambassador for the Nina Foundation. I discovered talking to him today, which is a, a charity 60. helping kids with spinal injuries. 100. A lovely young man he is too. Uh, he'll be cheering Martin Phillips on. I was going to say, I wonder who he supports. 60. Again. <laughs> the painter and decorator could just do with brushing up on his consistency a bit. 55. Phillips, though, in, in this leg, going off the boil, not making Tenberger pay by any stretch. 99. 
140. Bit more like it though. Neither player down to a finish, but Tenberger can set himself up on this visit. 65. Decent last start. 92. Was that? Joey Iroquois, 97. Great cover shot on the 19s. But this is a 97 for a two leg lead. Should be 20 to leave double top here. I think just checking that that dart was in. It was. 57. And for 20. Martin Iroquois, 94. Went for treble 18 to leave double top there and, and missed on both occasions, Martin Phillips. 36. Not putting Tenberger Tony under pressure. But he's yet to hit double top. Still. It's unbelievable. No score. What is it about double top that Tenberger Martin is afraid of this year? Martin Adams was struggling, wasn't he? Against John Walton hitting Kenny double top. Shaw, That's how you do it, leg. says Martin Phillips. Martin Phillips. Third leg is Martin to throw first. Game on. One hundred. One hundred and four. Well, he's okay on the treble top. It's just the double top that Tenberger is getting in a right old pickle about. Forty-three. And I tell you what, if we've noticed it, he has most definitely noticed that he hasn't hit double top, and it'll start to be preying on his mind every time he leaves it. One hundred. It's a, it's a rarity you find a burger struggling for a topping. Forty-five. <laughs> Very cheesy. 140! <laughs> 100! But he's bought himself a lot of time here against the darts as Joey. That's lovely. Well, he wanted 25 for double 18. That's unlucky when your aim is so true, it goes straight in. But he knew it was a good percentage shot because Phillips wasn't 16. on the finish. Joey require eight. For a 13 dart leg against the darts, he won't care if it's 14 or even 15, as long as four. he wins it. Martin, you require well, don't care if this goes in, which it won't now. What has happened to Martin Phillips in 42. this set of darts? Joey require four. Double two then. Double one. Oh no. No score. Martin, you're well, I'll tell you what, Den Haag is nearer to the target than that first dart from Joey there. Double top for Phillips. Oh, 92. Closer effort, the Joey same result. Four. Six darts at a double missed by Tenberger this leg. Seven. Eight. Nine. No score. Martin, you require 20. It happens. But it doesn't yeah, make it any better if you're leg. Joey Tenberger. Or if you're Dawn Phillips. And all he can do is smile as he Joey shakes his head, the young first. Dutchman. Game on. And that was for Martin Phillips to hold his throw. So he was given his throw. All 60. wrapped up nicely as a present. He didn't have to do anything really to hold it. And now, this is for the set. 140. It's kind of back to the drawing board for Joey here, just to keep plugging away in the way he has been, hitting 100. the big scores and hoping that a double goes from eventually. 25 years of age, as we've mentioned, the Hungarian 55. Open runner-up in 2010 and semi-final of the Welsh Classic. Has won a couple of tournaments, including the Austrian Open, 16. the Swiss Open in years gone by. All he cares about right now is a place in the last eight at the lakeside. And it's Phillips who looks to be favourite at the moment. 
Luxemburg needs a ton just to catch up here. He's not even going to get that. 59. A lot of darts being pulled by Tenberg. You look at the angle of the flight, sort of almost pointing up to the lights. 140. That's lovely. Phillips has found his touch in this leg. 85. Martin, you require 47. For the set, double 16. Okay. No Shot. problem Have at all set. for Martin Phillips. Martin Phillips! He's kept his checkout percentage at round about 40% where it was in round Joey one, but Ten Burgers has fallen away dramatically. And he's rather gifted the Welshman that set as the Dutch five, fifth seed. But hello. 140. Well, that's what I say, he's got to keep plugging away on the big scores and, and the doubles will come. 100. And Phillips just throw the darts, scuttle up to the board. Scuttle back again. He's taking no notice, really. 85. Except he wants to be there, ready to throw as soon as Tenberger is clear. He really does just play the board, doesn't he? 100. He's like, he's like a little wind-up toy. Not a huge amount of movement back 100. and forth. The really efficient action that he's got. It's Nick Faldo's 18 pars is what it is. Yeah. And it looks beautiful 100. from whatever angle you're looking at. That's nice. 81. This is more Seve. Couple of shots from the car park. Couple of 180s. Couple of big checkouts. But a couple of very, 92. very errant Germany, short missed putts. 95 though, for a leg. Double eight. He needs those sort of finishes. 77. He needs that fluency, does Tenberger. 87. The referee Rab playing catch up. Martin you require 109. Phillips having to wait. Will that make much of a difference? Treble 18 leaves double 18. Made no yes, difference at all. First game shot. And the first leg, Martin Phillips. Second leg is Martin to throw first. Game on. One of those matches, you don't envy the referee, though, the speed these two play at. <laughs> 100! No, you don't, that's very true. They do a fine job. 100! Tell me what Roxanne's thinking there, Vassos. You can read minds. She's thinking, come on, I don't want to go home yet. 49. There's so much of Frimley Green I've yet to see. So many shops to explore. Still, I've yet to be. I've, I've not been to the chippy yet. 100. 100. Yeah. You've not been to Gucci's? 100. The Italian takeaway? 140. Or Jimmy Choo's, the Chinese takeaway. They're, they're all there, mate. Not exactly West End. 100. Jeremy you require 161. But can he take away this, Tenberger? Unlucky. 137. Martin, you require 152. Shake of the head from Phillips. 60. His throw Jeremy to lose. 24. Tenberger's gain, maybe. Still looking for a double. There it is. Yes, double six. Press on the second leg. Joey Tenberger. Third leg. It's Joey to throw first. And off the back of four losing legs, Game Tenberger on. finds a winning double. Sixteen. Huge leg, this huge set in the context of the match. 60. And I, I just feel that Tim Berger's trying a bit too hard. The angle of these darts suggests a bit too much force. 100. And 
little bit too much of a thrust. That, that's better. That's lovely. That second dart really flew in. And then a bit of a slight snatch on the last one. 97. Sixteen. Good last start, Martin Phillips. He's hit the 19s well. An important one for him, though, because it now takes him to the checkout first. Thirty-five scored. Wherever you look at it, Joey, you're going to need a treble of some sorts. Single 25, not good enough. 40. Didn't get it. Martin Lerquois, 148. Six darts from 148. Five from 147. 40. Now, that was a waste for Martin Phillips there. 108, he might want to go Shanghai on the 18s with it, but what an excellent chance. To make this checkout a lot more simple. Treble 16 for tops. Oh, yes, beautifully that's done. Game shot. And the third leg, Martin Phillips. Well, Fourth leg chose to ignore the 18s. Game on. That's uh, 110 caps worth of experience there. Martin Phillips, the most capped Welshman of all time. But works out in his mind exactly what he needs. Knows where he's going, even if the first dart doesn't hit the treble. And they were absolute effortless, effortless poise on that stage. Completes the checkout. 100! Oh. I don't know what that is. be with you, they are. 123! We've had uh, Darth Maple. Yoda 140! Now. <laughs> and that was in 1978. They popped out for a quick pint. They've been coming back ever since. 100! One hundred! <laughs> Ninety-four! One oh one for the set 101. then. Single nine for double sixteen. This is for the set. And yes, no mistake! Game shot. And the fourth set! Martin Phillips! He took out 109, 108 and 101 to win each of the three legs in that set, Martin Phillips. No wonder he's got a big grin on his face. That's worth missing neighbours for. Fifth set, first leg. It's Martin to throw first. Game on. Vili van der Veel knows that his fellow compatriot is in something of a scrap. 100. And he's coming off second best here. One hundred. And he's raised his game on the checkouts, Vassos. That's the key for me for Phillips, not just the big ones. Well, hitting one in two 100. is excellent. One hundred and four. Gary Thompson. Enjoying the darts. He's in the 100. second round as well. One of these two will be in the quarter-finals and maybe at the end of this set. 81. 100. Down to 19. 177. A magnificent 177. It, it's hurtful. Tim Berger can't do anything now in this leg if Phillips takes out double 12. 16. At a point in the game Martin where he still 24. thought he had a chance. 
He still might. Oh, no score. Jerry Uriquois, 120. Three rare missed darts at doubles for Martin Phillips. But he'll be 16. back. Martin Uriquois, 24. Now double six. Now double three at the bottom. Yes. Yes, that's game shot on the first leg. Martin Phillips. Could have done it in 13 darts, Second did it in 18, but won't care because he threw the last dart and he's two legs 100. away from the quarterfinals. But he's, he's got that sort of action, Martin Phillips, so it doesn't matter to go double six down to double three. You know, because he's he's not the tallest 100. bloke anyway, and he's, he's quite upright, he's not leaning too far forward. It, there is absolute no effort required to go 95. from six down to three. A lot of players might have, you know, struggled a bit on that last double. 81. Well, 12 to six to three. You, you're travelling some there, aren't you? Used to see Barney doing an awful lot of that on his practising when he used to play down here at the lakeside. 100. You know, switching from different sides of the board. You know, coming up with various combinations. You know, obviously, the combination they all love is the three trouble twenties, but that'll do for Phillips for the time being. 100. 140. And his left double top. Jeremy require 106. Sam Berger needs the spectacular. Double 18. No oh dear. 70. Martin Maybe should have gone six 40. for double top. Double top, which Tim Berger's yet to hit. It's been good to Phillips, but not, not this score. time. He's tensing. Jeremy require 36. She's tensing. And the only man who can release the tension is here. Tim Berger for double nine. No. 32. That was a mile off. Martin, you require 40. There yes, it is. That's game shot. He's been given, round. he's been Martin given Phillips. second chances. Martin Phillips, and he's taking them. Third leg is Martin to throw first. Game on. The previous leg on his sixth dart at a double. That one on his 60. fifth. He won't care. One more double. He needs one more double. For one more place in the quarter finals. He's been there twice before. 134. Tim Berger in his first time in the second round on his third lakeside appearance. He's staring defeat 59. in the face. Maybe not this leg. But to come soon unless he can stop the Phillips onslaught. 45. And the one man who I'm sure will welcome a swift end to this match, other than Martin Phillips, 16. is the caller, the referee, Rab Butler, who's actually done very well to keep up with these two. There he is. 58. Not an easy game to referee. 100. 100. This is Phillips throwing first for a place in the quarterfinals. But Ten Berger with Roxanne looking on. Not happy to just let him have it. He's got to be careful here. And 49. he did actually count and was going for the 170 but missed the 12. Breathing space for young Joey. Yeah, and rightly, I think, sorting himself out 92. with the checkout that he wants for the double he fancies the most. Because he needs to make sure of it. 99. Joey Require, 32. Two 16s to prolong the match, two eights. Yes, that's game shot on the third leg. Jason Berger. Fourth leg, it's Joey to throw first. Game on. He's broken the throw as well, Tim Berger. 45. But he'll have to hold if he wants to prolong the match and then break again. And the way to go about holding is not to start with a 45. 100. 
100. Another ton for Joey Tenberger. One hundred and forty! For the thirteenth time in the match, a one forty from Martin Phillips. And as you can see, thirty-five hundred pluses. No spectacular ones, no maximums, but that's pretty heavy, pretty powerful 60. scoring. Well, it's relentless on the tons, and three of them were for finishes in that fourth set. He has been like a machine. 16. 16. Effectively has the throw now. 83. And if he can take out 118, he's through. He did it in his first round match, Martin Phillips. He took out 118. 16. Martin Ricoeur, He's got six darts added as well. Trouble 20 leaves double 19, and do you know what? He's he's in the one now. 40. Which, you know, he's he's got so much time. Really doesn't matter. And I don't think he would have wanted to finish on double 19 if he could have helped it anyway. Martin Ricoeur, 78. So Dawn looks on, and that does matter. Saved it with a trouble 19. 58. But a missed opportunity for Martin Phillips, his first for the match, and he missed it. Well, this can be done in two darts. It needs to be done in three to prolong the match. That treble 18 would have left him double top. 56. But Phillips Martin is back. 20. Good thinking by Tenberger, but he's been out-muscled so far by Phillips, who once again misses Ten. his opportunity for the match. Four darts and a double, 40. and he's missed every one of them. Can Tenberger finally hit double top? He's missed it all, championship. He's missed it again. Double ten. Yes, oh, he gets that. Has been set on the fourth leg. Jerry Tenberger. She doesn't look happy, Roxanne, Fifth but I'll tell you she is. To throw first. They won. And once again, Phillips just wants to get on with it. And maybe 16. should have just taken his time on that occasion. Good double ten. Tenberger started off badly when he was throwing first in the last leg. Phillips hasn't started particularly well in this leg. 100. Great last dart from the Dutchman for that treble 20. 100. It's a lovely smile, wasn't it? When he found that double 10 and realised that he wasn't shaking hands yet. Still looks shaky though. Not a solid performance. 16. Well, if he was a well done burger in the last round, he's been undercooked tonight. 81. Given a grilling by Phillips. 58. Sixteen. Oh, now then, now then, now then. <laughs> Darts bling. I tell you what, wearing. Martin Phillips now would beat Martin Phillips then. Back in 91, 92 when he was losing to Phil Taylor. 2010 semi-finals. 2011 on the brink, at, br on the brink of the quarters. 24. Treble 18 would leave him the bullseye. 58. Joey Ricard, 118. Step up then, Joey Tenberger. And save the match. Great start. 18. It's tops again for Berger. Yes! yes he's got it at last. Shot. And the fifth set. Joey Tenberger. Oh, top that. And raise your top hat to the guts. A Joey Tenberger, the determination, the bottle. Six set first leg. Save it's the Joey match. To throw first. Game on. Sixteen. Four missed darts for the match for Martin Phillips.
before Tim Berger ease the misery for one more set at least. And he turned to Roxette, Roxanne, I should say. Maybe he should turn to Roxette and listen to her heart, but he turned to his other half and celebrated with her. One hundred. So we can all relax again. One hundred and thirty five. One hundred. I missed the reaction as Tim Berger hit that double top. She wasn't letting herself go before he won the set, though, was she? It was lukewarm applause and then lukewarm applause, but then suddenly she realised, hang on a minute, perhaps I can 40. discover more of the secrets of Friendly Green. 137. Well, good effort to wrestle control at this stage. Tenberger and left himself a finish, and now Martin, Martin Phillips to break the throw. Single 16, double top. 44. Now he's starting to struggle a bit Jerry on these doubles. 89. 20 for the bullseye. Can he hit it? 64. Well, he can. 20. And he was oh so close, but once again, no let off. Yes, that's game Not shot for the Dutchman. The first leg, Martin Phillips. Second leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. 100. Well, he's missed four darts for the match. He's got to somehow muscle his way into a position where he gets a fifth. 100. It's the one thing that holds Martin Phillips back. 58. I think from being, you know, a world champion because he has got the darts to be a world champion. But it's that ability to handle the match winning situation. 57. Yes, he has experience here, but he doesn't play an awful lot of tournaments throughout the year. Too busy collecting the bins and watching TV. Plays brilliantly for Wales. You know, he's a Europe Cup singles champion. 41. But he wears the Welsh shirt, you know, it, it lifts his game. But often we see him come close, but but only close when it comes to the big tournaments. 83. And I'd love him to go all the way to the final this year, I really would, to just to fulfill the potential that he's got. situation he's in now playing for himself not for Wales is two darts away from a two-leg lead in this set 16 he'll be back he'll probably be back I should say <laughs> yeah there is always the opportunity but Tenberg are way off it 16 Martin you require 16 he's not put any pressure on this at all double top for Phillips 40 Jerry Still Lucar, searching. 110. Dawn's fingernails are suffering. Triple 20 would have left him double 16. He slipped. Slipped into the one. So 91 remaining. 36. Martin required 20. Once again, double yeah, 10 for Martin to Phillips. Second round. Martin Phillips. Nice breathing space for him. Third leg is Joey to throw first. Game on. And Tenberger has got to do the repeat of the fourth set to stay in the match. And that is a good way to start. His third of the match. Phillips still waiting for his first. But that's a good reply. And the People's Darts boys up on the balcony raising their glasses at great John Smith's competition that brings together all the amateur players across the country to play 
the chosen few that qualified out of the lakeside and they, they've loved their day today and I'm sure the winners all love their appearance on the stage for the final as well. 85. One hundred. Joey, you require one hundred and fifteen. Well, can he come back from two legs down again? Forty-four. Eighty-three. Joey, you require seventy-one. Double sixteen for the leg. It's been a good double to him. Thirty-nine. Martin Rickard, Snatched 97. It in. She knows it, he knows it, he knows it. Can't finish. 57. And that's been his problem 32. in the last set and two legs. Yeah, and that's yeah, why Tenberger's still, still in it. Joey Tenberger. Four leg shorts off, two more to go, we're going all the Get way. Fires in another hundred. His 43rd of the match. 140! Uh, unlucky number 13, 140 against him. 60! 60! Is this his first 180? No. 100. It's another 10. Military medium. 140. Ten Burgers starting to sense that he may be able to do something again in this set. 100. Jenny, you require 161. Treble 17 for the bull. 137. Once Martin again, Rickard, Phillips then for the chart. It's still on for the match. Double 12. Oh, that's five of them have gone begging. Jerry Uricard, he had it in a can, the dustman. But he's still waiting to collect and turn burger now. Double 12. Double six. Yes! Yes, that's getting shot on the fourth round. Jerry Tumberger. How Martin Phillips can smile at this moment, I do not Jerry know. Jerry to throw first. Because the dustman is seeing this Very set. Best of order, please. Game on. Slip away. Tumberger with the darts now to start this final leg. And using those darts to pile up the pressure. 16. Look at that. Joey Tenberger not managing to hold his throat. 134. Except in the last couple of sets, really. Phillips has been more stable, but has thrown it away. Oh, There's his first oh, maximum. What a fantastic time to throw it. Oh, well, well done, Joey Tenberger. What a comeback with that 140. 140. Oh, brilliant. Joey requires Tenberger for the set, though. Treble 17 for double 18. Take us all the way. Let's yes, go. Yes, that's game shot. And the sixth set. Joey Tenberger. 12 down. Scoring, wonderful finishing. What a comeback! And Phillips just seven, looks seven, a bit shell shocked. Twice the Dutchman had to win three legs in a row to 41. stay in the championship. Twice he did just that, and never better than win a with a 12 dart leg. 100. We've seen that smile before. Will we see it again? 43. 
It's Phillips with the advantage of throwing first in this deciding set, but it's a set you have to win by two clear legs. 16. I'm not sure he thinks it's an advantage anymore, though. Seed. I'll make the point again, he plays more tournaments throughout the year. Might not win them, but he plays them. He's, he's used to being under the cosh and pulling out these sort of comebacks. And Phillips has got great experience in this game. 81. You just wonder who is the match sharper in this sort of situation. 57. Phillips will feel that he's had match practice over recent months. At the Grand Slam of darts at the World Masters. Well, you, you mentioned the Grand Slam. Great victory over Adrian Lewis, 5-2. But he, he should really have beaten Co Stompy. And Stompy came back in it to win 5-4. That was only leg play. Different to set play, but the form is there. Well done, Martin Phillips. Holds his throw. Martin Phillips. I think he lost to Scott Waits with a, with a 103 average as well. Game on. This is simple match play. This is a one set shootout right here for a place in the Lakeside quarterfinals. And it's great drama. 140. That stompy match, though, was a great Martin Phillips typical performance. He's there, he's scrapping away, and suddenly he's the unlucky loser in it all. Where's his hunger? Has he got that hunger to go further here? I mean, he wants it, I'm sure he does. 40. But I just think the Dutchman wants it more at the moment. Or believes it more, three. perhaps. If you're just joining us, five times, Martin Phillips stood on the hockey what and aimed at a double for the match. And five times he failed to find that double. 100. Twice he had a two-leg lead. And needed just one more for a set. And twice, Tenberger won three in a row to take us into this decider. 171. Like his style there. He won't go for the bullseye though. Or should he? 140. Should be 18, double 16. Trying too hard. Trying to plot his way through now. 18. And find a way into the green bit. A great view from that double 16 as Tenberger composed himself. What we see now is a 50 year old from Dolgethlai shaking his head and wondering 13. what that 13 was all about. I have to say, I'm wondering with him. Still searching Tenberger. Is this another two leg to nil lead for Phillips? Still on. Double 16 awaits. Oh, the hits of the wire away again. He's had five darts at double 16. Six now. Seven. Double eight, will it be better to him? Can't be any worse. But it can be just as painful. Double eight for Phillips. This is awkward. And he's missed it again. Can't quite believe it. You can see the pressure these guys are under. You can feel it with every missed double. He's got one in the second that's a loud whistle Robinson. from Roxanne. <laughs> whistle while he works. 16. But who's sleepy, who's happy, who's grumpy, and who needs the dock? Pack of dogs somewhere in Frimley Green all let to attention. 78.
41. Fifty-seven. Well, this is a scrappier leg. Forty-one. Phillips still ahead, but if Tenberger can put in a big score here, a one-eighty here, can get to the checkout first. One hundred. His first hundred of the leg. One hundred. Sixty. Martin, no. you're Twenty-two. Not been in this leg at all. Another treble. Eighteen with a left double. Seven. Treble one leaves him searching. Seventy-eight. Jeremy Irquhart. One hundred and fifty-one. And he's not been in this leg, but he's got a chance here. Treble eighteen would leave double top. He's in at once, and he pulled that like it was a tug of war Martin competition. Irquhart, Forty-four. Phillips was on the ropes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the third He's leg. one leg Martin away Phillips. again from winning the match. Fourth leg is Jerry to throw first. Game on. Great to see Dawn here as well, Martin Phillips. Why she missed the first day of the Masters up in Hull hasn't been 100%. But I think she'd rather be here. To share the agony with her hubby. And look I at think. that. It's agony. Agony is the word. He's one leg away again. 100. But he could be one dart away again. And she wouldn't relax. 140. Elbow. 100. Level pegging. Pretty much what well, it is now, but these two darts to take Phillips further ahead. 60. Only by 40 points, though. Phillips couldn't turn the screw. 100. That's good. 99. Thought he should have gone 25 on ball with his last dart there. Maybe set up for 96. It's an easier finish to, to come back to than a 102. 41. But it's it again Quarles, for the match, Martin Phillips. Bullseye leaves double 16. Unlucky, 17 for tops if he's given a second chance. 62. Jerry if Quarles, he's given 100. a second chance. Tim Berger will believe he must Samuel, take this out. Five twenties. Brilliant thinking. Oh, lucky. Full credit to Joey Tenberger Martin for going two double tops. But now just the one yeah. of them. And Martin Phillips rattles it in the first attempt to make up for the five he previously missed. And a third quarter final appearance for the Welsh Dustman is now finally collected. Great smiles, but boy, he made it so hard for himself. And yeah, I have to feel for Joey Tenberger in his other half. What can you say, ladies Great and value. What an opening match. He's through to the next round. Martin Finney.